As a child, I believed I was the next WNBA basketball star. Or the next family dentist. Little did I know, I would find a love far greater than I had ever imagined. A simple yet significantly life-changing opportunity sparked my passion for a surprising industry. My name is Amy, and this is my story. I was born in Sacramento, California, and lived there for 12 years. My love for animals has always been strong, and after visiting the California State Fair each year, I always had a desire to be involved in livestock. Unfortunately, we did not have the resources to start that dream. In 8th grade, my family and I moved to Copperopolis, a small town in Northern California. Although we live in a very rural town, my family lives in a residential community where restricted land use and homeowners association regulations continue to constrain my dream of raising animals. Fortunately, during a high school preview night, I was introduced to my agriculture teacher and advisor. After he explained the agriculture department and activities and FFA events, only one thing sparked my interest, the Bret Hart FFA Rabbit Cooperative. This was the one and only reason I joined an introduction to agriculture class. The Rabbit Cooperative was a group of students that not only learned animal husbandry, but also how a cooperative works. According to the Small Business Administration, a cooperative is a business or organization owned by and operated for the benefit of those using its services. Profits and earnings generated by the cooperative are distributed among the members. Just like a large cooperative, students voted on a board of directors and manager. The project was year-round and students worked every day learning every part of raising rabbits, from feeding and cleaning, doctoring wounds, to breeding and understanding pedigrees. In return for their labor, students are provided rabbits to enter into the fair, where they can show and sell them at auction. They are then able to keep all the money they receive from selling their rabbits and pay no fee to the cooperative. Additional costs are taken care of by the cooperative from sales of rabbits throughout the year. This became the perfect opportunity for students like myself who did not have the resources to raise animals. At my high school, the FFA chapter had two other cooperatives, including a chicken and greenhouse cooperative, which followed the same organization and procedures as the rabbit co-op. These cooperatives opened doors for many students and allowed them to learn about agriculture. Community members have jumped on board as well. After a couple years in the rabbit cooperative, I reached beyond small animals and worked with a community member to raise lambs as well. In exchange for renting property from her, I cared for her flock of ewes and assisted her with her poultry flock. A local ranch in Angel's Camp provides opportunity for students to raise pigs in a cooperative type setting by providing land and, most importantly, teaching students about swine management. The Osborne family allows other students to keep pigs at their ranch. The group splits feed costs and works together to raise all the pigs. These communal efforts provide opportunities for these students and gives them a chance to experience something they would have never been able to before. Cooperatives provide a win-win situation for students, local small landowners, and producers. Communities have the ability to extend their knowledge and introduce agriculture to students who have a desire to learn but are limited in their resources. The Rabbit Cooperative was the reason I and many others joined our local FFA chapter. However, little did I know, it was only one of hundreds of reasons why I found a passion for agriculture. Cooperatives can provide students hands-on learning experience and be the bridge to introducing more students to the agriculture industry. Who knows, maybe you could be the catalyst that leads a student to their unknown passion and career in agriculture.
please be a hero and get involved.